is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, I've had to refilm this intro because I've noticed that the footage is going to be um, quite long. So if you're painting along, then that's great. Make yourself comfortable. If you're not, then you might want to click off because I will get a bit annoying by the end. Also, this is the first proper video I've made. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. So this is what my desk is looking like at the moment, very messy, not organised at all and I'm a bit too lazy to go get my paints out if I'm honest, they're only over there. But it's not just the case of getting my paints out, it's about setting my palette up and having to wash my brush as well because I've been using it for ink. So, so far i finished this sandwich, which I'm not happy at all about, to be honest. Um, I find it really, really hard to um, paint bread for some reason. I just can't stylize it, and that's definitely something I need to improve upon. Um, but yeah, I've just started on this bamboo toothbrush now. Um, I don't know if I mentioned actually, but this sheet is just about zebra waste and how you can Reduce your waist. Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. but if you are comment down below what's one thing you struggle with to paint um as i said bread is my number one enemy when it comes to painting um anything brown really um sorry the lighting is going nuts um anything with like a lot of brown tones is really hard for me um i don't know if it's just because i'm colorblind and I don't know, I can't tell the difference between the different shades of brown, but um, yeah, that is definitely one thing I struggle with. And the orange colours as well. Orange colours, yeah, oh my god. <sighs> During my art A level, I had to paint, um, well I was doing like this little cookbook zine for my final piece and one of the recipes was carrot and coriander soup. Bear in mind this was a fully illustrated zine, okay? I painted a carrot for the recipes, okay, about six times, could not do it. It was like the paint was way too fluorescent, way too dull or too muddy and I just couldn't do it and I don't know why. Not to um, bash any artists in particular or anything, but does anybody else have like a massive problem with modern artists and the whole industry of modern art and the absolute scam that it is. If I could make 500 grand for a picture, oh sorry, an exhibition of an unmade bed, I would be a millionaire, okay? This bed right here is more often than not messy. 
and um, yeah, run me my fucking money, Tate Modern. In addition to that last clip, I'm not a massive snob. It's not that I don't understand art, it's just my personal preference. There's nothing wrong with it if you like it, or if your mum likes it, if your dad likes it, you know, if your pet likes it. It's not up to me to say that they can't. Hello, it is now two days later. Um, I had a lovely day yesterday. Went to the beach with my boyfriend and we had a great time. So today I'm just cracking on again with business cards. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So this is what I'm having for breakfast this morning. I'm just having some granola with oat milk, some nectarine strawberries and some bananas. And a coffee, of course. I've just been for a bath and that's why my hair is a bit wet. Um, yeah, so these business cards are taking a bit more time than I'd like them to. Um, I thought it would just be very straightforward and, oh, sorry about that, um, using the illustrations I've already got but unfortunately I'm not happy with the illustrations I do have at the moment so yeah, I've been on Pinterest and kind of like mood boarding the type of food I want to paint for the business cards. I'm gonna go and get a coffee, so I'll be back in a bit. I'm currently having an ice cream break, um, even though I've done no work. We love that. Right, so I've decided that I'm gonna start painting now. Um, my favourite brand of watercolour paper is this Casa, the, uh, the cold pressed one, and honestly it's really cheap for... oh. I've got some black dots in there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's really cheap for the quality. Um, I paid, this was a 50 sheets for about, I think, £18 I paid. Um, and same goes for the A A3 one, which is under there. So I definitely recommend. Um, you can buy online or go into the stores. There's not many of them. Yeah, so I think I'm going to be painting some salmon. Very exciting. Right, so I've got my sketches down. Um, I've just decided to do these two. Um, use these two reference images. So hopefully they will look good once finished. Also, sorry if you can hear that clicking noise. It's my camera moving. So I'm not sure why it does that, but apparently it does. So that's that noise. If you wanted an explanation, it's not your computer shutting down. Honestly, have you guys ever seen such a messy watercolour palette before? So I'll be very surprised if you have.
to realise that this is going to be a really long video if I carry on chatting, so what we're going to have to do is I'm going to cut it up into two parts and I will release the second part like next week or something. Um, so I will have finished the illustrations and started designing the business cards and the template properly. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope you'll watch the next video as well. So hope you have a great day. Bye!